Hey guys, it's Maniac 456 here, and welcome to another Let's Play, but this is sort of more of a casual Let's Play. As you're gonna see right now, it's Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But I'm not actually gonna play through, like, the entirety of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. You know, like, unlock all the characters, um, go to Classic Mode, All-Star Mode, and do all this other stuff that you could do when you're playing on Solo Mode. Um, no, I'm not actually gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna be playing the Subspace Emissary, the adventure mode that's built inside Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I don't want to have a name, because I'm not gonna be playing this on multiplayer, which you can do that. There's a lot of multiplayer options on the solo mode for whatever reason. But, um, yeah, in case you're not familiar with Subspace Emissary, it's basically a um, bit of a story mode fleshed out. And that is weird, I... Okay, w what happened right there? That was actually part of the game. For some reason, it's doing all those skips. I don't know why. I guess... Well, the thing about Brawl... It definitely had some problems when it was first released. Because... Whoa. That is weird. That is totally weird. Brawl really had some problems with its discs. Because sometimes they would not want to work at all. They really did not want to work at all. So, we're gonna be playing as Mario, because I'm better with Mario. And I don't want to play the cutscene if I push the so, yeah. So yeah, it, Brawl definitely had some issues when the disc was first released. Sometimes it would not run on the Wii at all, and it doesn't help that this Wii is old, so that's probably not gonna help much at all. Though I never had that kind of problem before. So... Uh, whatever. And again, I tried to restart playing Subspace Emissary before. But this is like the first time I'm gonna try beating it on a tense. Okay. This is a basic Smash Brothers fight. You're just supposed to KO the opponent by getting by making sure he gets KO'd by the amount of percentage he has. The higher the percentage, the easier he is to KO. That's basically the um gist of how Super Smash Brothers work. Also, the same the more times you use the same attack, uh the less damage you're actually gonna deal out to your opponents. So, combo attacks generally deal off less damage. So, yeah. Also, if I was playing as Kirby, this cutscene would be just slightly different. It would just have Kirby revive Mario. That's really about all that would be different. So, there's only sl there's like cosmetic changes or you know, aesthetic changes towards the cutscenes if you rescue one thing or you play a different character or whatever. In Subspace Emissary, it sort of has these kind of splits. Um, not really splits, storylines, because it's basically the same kind of storyline, only just slightly altered. So, yeah, it's nothing really too special. They probably could have done a lot better with that kind of mechanic, but they didn't. And these are our enemies, a character or creature known as Primates, which are pretty... Mm, I don't know how to say it. I don't know. Some people don't really like a lot of subspace emissary enemies. I personally am fine with them. So I'm gonna be playing these characters in this order because they're the best characters I know of that I'm good at. So Fermits basically do a lot of punches and kicks. They do a lot of combo attacks, more or less. And I don't want to hit that last box. Oh no, that was flat. I keep forgetting. Uh, in the, for some reason in Brawl, and also in the new Super Smash Bros, they decided to... Um, well, they decided to give Mario a Flood attack. I never really cared too much about the fact that they changed it, but at the same time, I do tend to forget that it actually is changed. And that was a smart bomb, that was totally not smart of me to do that. And these are Spacks, these guys are really annoying, and these Boomerang... Permits I hate, or boom permits as they're probably called. With the Spats case, you basically can't hit them, otherwise... Okay, I'm trying to avoid getting hit, because these guys dish out a lot of damage on the tents. And I got hit. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't get KO'd right there. You don't want to get them mad, because, well, they... Like I said, it's just out more damage. And their attack becomes a little less easy to avoid, a lot harder to avoid. So I'm actually doing 
relatively alright, I guess, if we're considering intense. I picked Peach last because I'm terrible at Peach. Probably people are good with Peach, but I'm not. I'm terrible with Peach, particularly in this game. I was sort of decent with her in Malay, but here they really nerfed her a lot. These sword primants are also pretty annoying because they have a lot of damage and combo attacks. They could get you from 0 to, like, 70% in no time. Normally I have a transform into Sheik from them, but, hmm. I guess I'm not that bad with Zelda either. Though I didn't do anything different, I just did the same kind of attacks over and over and over again. Ancient Minister. I wonder who the crowd is. And eh, chances are it's just the same kind of crowd sprite that they use for Pokemon Stadium 2. That's just my wild guess. Alright. You remember how the timer was. Just a few seconds ago, it was like 2.50. Now it's 2.25. How did a few seconds become like 30 seconds? That makes no sense. Hmm. Well, if it is another, then PD Piranha from the Mario franchise. Yeah. You may sometimes recognize enemies and bosses from other Nintendo franchises. PD Piranha is a boss, and this guy, he's pretty easy to defeat. But in the, but his little gimmick here, you can destroy cages, and or to free one of the princesses. This slightly changes some facts towards how the story sort of works. Not really a lot, but you can choose between the two. I'm personally gonna rescue Zelda. But I have a feeling it's possible to rescue both if you just con if you just hit Petey Piranha. That's just my wild guess, but I never I've tried doing it before, but I've never been able to actually do it. And boom. When you defeat a boss, you can sometimes earn a rewards, usually a trophy or a bunch of stickers. It's pretty basic. Um, also, during boss battles, you may also find these things, or in general, in the um, in the actual main game, you may find these trophy stands, which you can actually use on the bosses if they're very weakened to get their trophy. Though I don't think that works for Peter Piranha. I think it works for other bosses in the game, or in the mode rather. It should be called mode. And again, this cutscene slightly alters if you rescue Peach, then Wario just gets Zelda instead. Not muchly of a vast big difference, it's just a personal preference depending on what you think. If you prefer Zelda, Zelda's playstyle, then pick, then rescue Zelda. If you prefer Peach's playstyle, then I recommend just rescuing Peach. It's just all preference. Personally, I'm horrible with Peach and Brawl, so I'm trying to avoid her as much as I can. So, yeah. Apparently, whatever that bomb did, it just simply caused the that thing to go into a void. And we got three stickers and trophy. Cresselia. And a newcomer. Kirby joined your team. Newcomer. Zelda joined your team. And technically Sheik as well. And I accidentally pushed A twice. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, if it isn't Pits from before Kid Icarus Uprising from which would be released three years from Brawl's release. Mm, they, the designs kind of look a little different from it. Pitts doesn't really look too different in comparison to his Kid of Cruise Uprising appearance, but I think Palatina looks a little bit more different. Maybe that's just me. Um, Actually, I gotta admit, Kid Icarus Uprising was actually a pretty fun 3DS title. I was actually pretty shocked after hearing how awkward the controls were. Actually, no, it was more like four years. I forgot the game was released in 2012. Wow. <laughs> hmm. I forgot. Alright, so we're gonna be playing as Pip for a little while. With the Kid Icarus... Main theme, I guess. Okay, so Pit is more or less an interesting kind of character, but more importantly is these weird 
square things. These can sometimes contain stickers or trophies, or they may contain some helpful items. There are the blue variants, which is offer usually just a standard item. There's also a gold variant, which may offer something a little bit more special. These things actually offer trophies instead of actual items. I think it's just because I there isn't really any enemies here, so yeah. Free trophies and stickers, I'll take it. Even though I pretty much, I think I've gotten almost every single trophy and sticker in the game, so that's something, I guess. Wonder why the halberd is with the subspace emissary. Actually, it's never explained in the game, but it's mentioned by an interview or whatever from a long time ago that this that the subspace emissary army just stole it. So, yeah, I know that's a little spoilers, but I'm not trying to spoil anything about the storyline because the storyline may not make any sense at all. Because, okay, what's going on here? And that primitive just hit me in the face. I will. That's him. No! Oh no, they broke my shield. They broke my shield. Okay. No! Good grief. Get. Hit. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> I'm already down to 139%. And I haven't. And I barely got rid of these guys. Just go away. Okay, we're finally out of that. Let's try to avoid these facts. Okay, let's try to destroy this back. Yeah, nope. Let's grab this trophy, I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to try to go for 100% completion because... I don't remember where everything is at, and trying to get everything at 100% completion on the intense difficulty would just be... Um, let's just say a little bit insane, in my opinion. So yeah, this guy though can be a bit pathetic to, well, he is a pathetic, like, little mini-boss. I mean, seriously, all you need to do is just hit his head and then he can't, like, do anything and just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They're more annoying when they're coming groups, so, yeah. I can't believe I went down from 0% to 100% on that pyramid, uh, pack. That was really bad. Not generally that bad in Brawl, I must admit, but... Yeah, now they're... I guess Mario was explaining what happened. That's just a wild guess. That is just a wild guess. Uh, let's play Plit... Plit? Pit? A little bit longer. I think some people who didn't know who Pit was would just call him... Oh, Kid Icarus. Or whatever. Uh, those enemies I dodged were basically... I don't know what to call them. Um... They're something similar to Kirby enemies. In fact, a bunch of these enemies are very similar from Kirby. It's, uh, they're like more generic type of enemies. Hey, hello. Also, something from the Subspace Cemetery will be different in terms of speed and everything. Like, sometimes you'll find more enemies. Sometimes things will be faster than normal. Sometimes enemies will be faster than normal. So, it can be pretty difficult. Also, another thing to note is that Pit can glide, so if you hold down the if you hold down the button or whatever, jump button, which I'm gonna try to avoid hitting the up on the control stick, cause that could trigger the glide. I've had it happen before. Okay, getting up here earns me a motion sensor bomb trophy. Yeah, what was in this one? Well, this one was more worthwhile. Five stickers. The thing is, I can't um lose all my lives, or I'll lose the prizes that I earned, so, or at least some of the prizes. I mean, I can lose Pit, but I can't lose, like, um, all four of the lives that I got, which includes M Mario, and then another Pit, and another Mario. Okay, I'm actually dodging a lot better than last time. Okay, this back is gonna be annoying. Oh, no! 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 I could probably use this. Oh, pfft. well, that that went out of here. Okay. Uh, there's the trophy stand. If you grab it, you can actually use it on enemies. Sometimes you can use them on one hit. Sometimes you can't. With permits, you can generally use them. Um, that focus punch. I'm just gonna call it a focus punch. Maybe it's a dynamic punch. 
Oh, pfft, pfft. How did that work? Usually most of your sensor problems don't explode by contact. Okay, this guy, row turrets. He's also gonna appear in the um, next Super Smash Brothers run. Super Smash run, by the way. Can't wait for that. Because those guys are really annoying. But if you stay in the middle, they can't hit you. Also, golden doors indicate that you're near the end, or, you know, light indicates that you're near the end of the level, so... I think that's a good indicator when you're nearing the end of a level, and I always think that's actually good. So, we got quite a bit done. I didn't die still, or, you know, get a game over. So now we get a Mario and Pit team, and I'm gonna save. Let's go to the Sea of Clouds. And looks like Kirby and Zelda are still trying to evade. Um, okay, I'm confused. They managed to escape from the stadium, but why in the world are they? How in the world did a halberd get in front of them? I just realized that. How in the world does that work? And yes, this is a very pointless section. If you couldn't have guessed it. All you're doing is more or less running on the halberd all the way to the right and then trigger the cutscene which basically shows the halberd attacking the R wing and boom the claw actually hits him that claw has always been I guess a little annoying in Kirby games but not really that annoying in Kirby Superstar if I recall correctly and the R ring goes in one direction, and we go down the other direction, and the halberd just continues on where it was going. Typical. And let's play as Zelda. I need to show off Sheik anyways, because you know, we all love Sheik, who is going to be a separate character of their own in the next Super Smash Bros. I'm going to try to avoid enemies, because they tend to be real. <laughs> okay, don't, don't, don't. I don't know how in the world I keep- Sometimes I just jump because I end up hitting the up on the control stick, so that causes me to jump. And you can also wall cling, that's something else I forgot in Brawl, they introduced wall cling for whatever reason. For some characters, you can wall cling. Though you can also, um... You can walk while you're charging, or you can- while you're shooting a gun, which I think was actually a pretty useful little tactic. I hate these fish. 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 It's a ton of fish. Or, you know, a play on word of fish. Oh yeah, no! I don't want to get hit by that thing in, on a tense. Those things deal a lot of damage, even on normal, on the lower difficulties. <sighs> okay. I'm in a safe room, sort of. It's gonna contain two items. I think one of them is a healing item, and the other is, well, stickers, obviously. Yeah. Maximum tomatoes, they heal about 50% damage. Heart containers still are another healing source, but they only heal out more than 100%, I believe. I've had that happen before. Okay, I'm running away from these fish because these guys could be really annoying as well. Normally, I wouldn't just simply avoid enemies, but on a tense, you kind of need to. Because look how much damage it did. And that was at full health. Oh, no! No, no. Don't want the trophy stand. I want the ice cream. And I'll take the beam sword, because I like the beam sword. It's probably one of my favorite uh, weapons in the Super Smash Bros. franchise. And I don't want the fan. The fan is like a very broken weapon in Super Smash Bros., but it's not very useful in Super Smash Bros. I'm going to note that. Uh, no, no, get in the door, get in the door! Uh, oh yeah, you can also crawl with Sheik, that's a little weird, I must admit. More Spacks, no! Uh, okay, these guys can drop items or healing items, so... I don't know, what was that Mr. Sam doing? Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 oh, fudge, I'm in this part. Destroy these portals, so that way they don't respawn, because they can respawn. These, these mites are really annoying at times. I should have done the C stick tactic, but I didn't. Okay, let's go down here. For some more stickers. 
Good grief. I'm at 235% and I'm not dead. That That's incredible. Okay, there's rocks coming around soon. Whoa! How in the world? Oh, well, there's my death. <laughs> I was wondering when that would come. Uh, I'll take that sticker. I don't think I've collected every single sticker, but I think I've, contained the, I've collected a past majority of them. I have a habit of that. If I see a sticker, I grab it. Hopefully I don't get that habit. Hopefully it's not too habit forming for uh, later parts. Oh, nope. No, 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 no. Okay, I want to go over here. Grab this star. Oh, no, I want to grab it. Hold on. And go. Go. Go down. Get rid of this thing. Okay. I got rid of that thing. Which is good, because you want to get rid of the portal. And I died right there. That's not good. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You're not doing anything to me, mites. You're not mighty at all. In fact, you're pretty weak. Nope. Glunder, blunder. I, I guess, I don't know. Sometimes I just make up weird titles. Leave me alone, fish. Eek. I'm faster than the rocks somehow. Okay, I'm hiding over here. I just want to be careful, because she is probably not faster than a rock. Okay, this part is probably going to kill me a lot. Yep. Because you got two gr creeps. One that does that. Okay, I actually got rid of one of them. Nice. This thing likes to do that for whatever reason. They have two attacks, and that's one of them. I think it was meant to just annoy the player so that way the other Greep can actually KO you, but apparently, since I got rid of the other Greep, it couldn't do that. <sighs> oh my gosh, look at all the... Wait, did I just collect stickers throughout that entire time? Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, into the jungle we go. For a... Actual familiar enemies for once. Not some of those weird enemies. That's a Goomba, that's a Koopa, that's a another Koopa. And I think we can guess who this is. It's Donkey Kong. And bullet bills. See, they really should have just utilized a lot of Nintendo enemies. They could have done that, but I guess they just thought, hey, let's use uh, unique enemies. I don't know. And that's probably one thing I don't think I care much for. So space emissary. Not really. Well, to say the very least, not very popular unique enemies. Alright, so I get a choice between Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Which, uh, quite frankly, I'm uh, not entirely good with either or. I'm gonna just stick with Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is a heavyweight, Diddy Kong is a lightweight, if you couldn't have guessed it. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, this is like a Goomba's dream. I mean, seriously. Ever saw a Goomba be that strong in a Mario game? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I don't think that's. Yeah. I think it usually is a, like a, a super mushroom, but not always. As you can see, these Koopas are... Wow! Yeah, these Koopas are really, really fast now. Uh, Donkey Kong is a heavyweight, so... Oh. Yeah. You can deal with the Mario enemies like you would normally do with Mario and Mario games. It's just that, well, they're, it's a little awkward at times. Could have used that a little while ago. Okay, going down to get a trophy, which I think that's that's drill dozer person. I don't know what that was. Oh wait, sticker. Diddy Kong has a lot of moves from I believe Donkey Kong 64. And um Donkey Kong Country games. 
and the barrel section, and then the sticker, go figure. And another sticker, what's with all the stickers? Get in the door. Diddy Kong is very... athletic, let's just point that out. The thing is, I'm not very good with him. I mean, he has his banana peels, but it's not very useful in this particular Oh! Ouch. Wow, wow, wow. That actually, uh, did some... Oh, it dropped a... Screw attack trophy. Okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to go up here already, but... I'll take it. These things can open up passages that you normally couldn't really access to. Such as that. Oh! <laughs> Not happening. And there's a secret right here. Okay, pinwheel, or uh, ferris wheel, or whatever. Get down. Okay, we got a Koopa Troopa, or green Koopa trophy, which is, I guess, nice, but I believe I already have one, so that's pretty nice. Do not want to grab that hammer. Okay, this area can be a little bit of a pain because the hammer bros are a bit... Um, well, they're not too powerful, but they have quite a bit of a knockback, I would say. These bullet bills, they are a bit more annoying, though. They either home at you, or they... They just go straight ahead. I sometimes don't really know which ones they go for. Oh wow, that, that motion sensor bomb I think actually hits uh, the bullet bill. That's interesting. Don't know how that worked, but I guess it was slow enough on the ground. Okay. Jeep! Yeah, DK has this kind of attack. What in the world hit me? I don't know what kind of trophy that is. Ouch. Beep! Get in the door! Bullet Bills are also my least favorite enemies in this mode. They can be really annoying. Ow! Well, that didn't work dodge and you could go in here I remember where most of the secrets are at so I guess I'll take a mention of them if I miss any of them uh, I think that's a Metroid type of a, or Metroid type statue trophy jeez VG get it right don't 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 in case you're wondering why am I playing subspace emissary on intense mode well, I mentioned already that I'd never done this before, or at least I think I mentioned that. But I also... It's also a celebration for the fact that before the next Super Smash Brothers is coming out. So, yeah. Plus, I kind of wanted to do this anyways. And, um... Um... Uh, I, I forgot what I was actually going to say. Um... Um, hey, it's Bowser! And he looks... like the usual? Oh, well, that's definitely not the usual. You know, I don't think outside of spin-offs, Donkey Kong has never met Bowser. Okay, what was that? Yeah, it was actually a Metroid enemy. It was a space pirate. Hey, look, we got a critter in during Donkey Kong level. That's cool. 